A while ago, I did a video where I fed a bunch of bearded dragons different fruits and vegetables that they had never tried before. It was a fun test to see what they would possibly enjoy eating and what I could include in their diet in the future. So today I'm doing the same concept, but with different fruits and vegetables and with box turtles instead. This is my personal box turtle, Harriet. I also have four other turtles that were rehomed to us. So they're gonna be trying strawberries, corn, mushrooms, green peppers, beets, carrots, raspberries, and blueberries. Harriet keeps going for the strawberry. I already know she likes strawberries. And these are all great to feed your box turtles, but there are certain ones that you might not want to give them all the time. Because some of these turtles are so small, I cut them in the tiniest pieces possible. And we better get started because she really wants the strawberry. And I guess we'll start on that side. Strawberries are high in sugar, super sweet, nice and colorful. They often like the color and uh, definitely pretty healthy. It has a lot of good vitamins for them and it's definitely a favorite of Harriet's. It's uh, super squishy and chewy. Next up we've got corn. She's already going to it herself. She's never had corn before. She looked <laughs> just squirted in my mouth. She was a little hesitant biting the corn, but she got it. Looks like she's having a little trouble because it's kind of stuck to her face and she's drooling so much. I think she's hungry. Next up we've got Mushroom. She's going straight for it. Another one Harriet's never tried, but she has no hesitation. I personally hate mushrooms in every form. I've never liked eating mushrooms, but it looks like Harriet's a little less picky than I am. She took one bite of it and uh, she looks a little less interested now, so she's going back to the corn. Before she goes to the corn, let's give her some green pepper. Green pepper is super crunchy, comes in multiple colors obviously, and uh, they're all pretty similar. Uh, I don't know if she's had green pepper before, but it's nice and juicy, has a pretty strong flavor, and uh, I think it's a very healthy option that I'd happily give her a lot, because she obviously likes it. It's just soft enough to where she can still break it with her beak, and doesn't have to use her claws to kind of scrape it away. And there's still strawberry on her face from the first one. <laughs> it's so crunchy. Next up we've got beet, which is a root. It's a lot more dry, it doesn't have as much flavor. She's never had it before, and uh, it's very colorful, and I'm hoping the smell is strong enough to entice her if she doesn't go for the mushrooms instead, because she's eyeing them. Ooh. She was conflicted, but she went for it. <laughs> she took it out of her mouth, and she's back for bite number two. Looks like she gave up on it. She gave it a fair chance, I can't blame her. Uh, she took three bites, but she's going for the others now. Beet is not for Harriet. Next up, we've got carrots. I have baby carrots specifically. Super bright color. We've definitely noticed reptiles like beardy dragons, other lizards and turtles uh, go for certain colors over certain other colors. Uh, like they definitely like the bright reds and oranges. So Harriet immediately saw it and went straight for it. Carrot's pretty flavorful, pretty healthy, and it can be considered a choking hazard for certain animals because if you give them just a full carrot and they bite a big chunk off, they might have trouble swallowing it if it's not chopped up well enough. Personally, I think sometimes people almost baby the animals too much to where they mush up every single thing, but those different textures add a lot of enrichment and it can help them keep their beak, uh, especially on box turtles. It keeps their beak at a good length so that it doesn't overgrow. This can also be done through other things like cuddle bones. Uh, but I think even just the rougher vegetables have definitely made a difference when you don't turn everything into this baby food consistency because they can eat things in the wild they're not all mushed up uh, and Harriet did just fine crunching up the carrot.
nice and soft, nice and sweet. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if she likes it even more than the strawberries, which I would consider to be her favorite. It's so soft, she can't even really bite it because it all just kind of squishes. So she's using her claws to pull it away from her face and it actually fits in her mouth. And now it looks like she just ripped apart an animal because she's very red. Finally, we've got blueberries. Uh, I basically skinned them, and I just have that real nice middle essence in there for them. We'll see what they think. Harriet has blueberries pretty often, so I know she likes them, and she gets to finish it off on a nice note on one of her favorites. Also very sweet and sugary. I would consider these a lot similar to strawberries, where they're something that I give her as her favorite treat, but again, it's not something that's going to make up 100% of her diet. It's just going to be mixed in with other things she has. But thankfully, box turtles can eat a lot more fruit than other animals because uh, that's what they often forage for. They're actually native to North Carolina, which is where I live, and most of them are captive bred. Harriet's the only wild caught one, and these are pretty similar to what she might have been finding here in North Carolina. Well, that's our lineup of fruits and vegetables. There's a ton we could have tried, but these are the ones that Target had that they could eat, and believe it or not, Harriet liked all of them. Although the breed of dragons were picky, she was very open-minded and at least tried them all. I guess she didn't like them all because she kind of gave up on the mushroom, which is understandable because it's really gross, and uh, the beet was kind of meh for her. So it looks like Harriet's favorites, I would consider to just be the sweet ones. Uh, she definitely has a, a sweet beak uh, with the blueberries, the raspberries, strawberries, and she really liked the crunch of the green pepper. I'm glad she has a really varied palette because it means that I can give her a ton of enrichment in her food. If you are interested in one of the animals, you can hit the link in the description to sign up to the mailing list on Emerald Scales where you'll get notified when these animals are available for sale with shipping to almost anywhere in the USA. Uh, make sure you check out the Bearded Dragon video as well. I think that one was really fun. But that's everything for this video. Check out what else I've got in the description. I have a lot of cool stuff going on and uh, you can go explore the other similar videos. So until then, this is Harriet. Those were our other turtles. I'm Alex and thanks for watching.